Welcome to the RA23, the Radio Communication Assembly, just before the World Radio Communication Conference, WRC23, in Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Basebi Jaki Mosigny, who is from the Botswana Communication Regulatory Authority. Basebi, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about uh, a resolution on gender that's just been approved. The International Telecommunication, the ITU, has had a number of firsts on the journey towards gender equality and mainstreaming in, in tele and radio communication and information communication technologies. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, as you know, Doreen Bogdan Martin was the first woman uh, elected to lead ITU, historically shattering 157 years yes. uh, glass ceiling. And recently, Carol Wilson, the 2023 Radio Communication Assembly Chair, became the first woman to lead these significant proceedings. And just in the wake of this, there's been even more good news. Uh, a resolution on gender at RA23 has also been approved. Can I start off by asking you, what would you say are the career obstacles that women engineers face today? Um, well, many. Um, first of all, I think it will be very much how we, we are raised, right from the family level, where um, we will be given roles uh, differently between the girl child and the boy child. And the boy child will be having roles which deals with electronics maybe, or, you know, things to do with uh, mechanics, which would not necessarily be given to a girl child. Now with that mindset being embedded on a child at that very young age, it then means as we grow up, we grow up knowing that this is for boys or for men and this is for girls and women. Now, when you uh, are able to go beyond that barrier as in terms of me being a woman engineer, even when that was the case in growing up, you then also confront another one. And this is dealing with uh, our male counterparts. That is to say, you feel so out of place. You feel, uh, because it's not even a lot of us in the space, and even in consideration for maybe promotions or otherwise, it's like, uh, no, it's, it, it's men. It's, 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 it's men who should lead, who should be given those posts rather than women. And also maybe from the family aspect of Africans, let me put the African uh, culture here where uh, men are the leaders of the family. So it's like it's even taken to the issue of the workplace where then they are given those leadership roles, uh, even though we have many women who might do better in those roles. So, I mean, they are still many obstacles. And uh, with this resolution, I think it's going to go a long way in empowering women, uh, like you have already uh, talked to Doreen, to the RHA, and I think many women will be able to now assert themselves because this resolution empowers them to do that, just that. What uh, are the elements within the resolution that you think will help? Um, I would say all, really. And I mean, uh, the focus of uh, empowering uh, the women to do so, and uh, you know, the issues of parity, um, equity, um, those elements are quite critical. And I think that is the reason why my country ended up nominating my name uh, to chair committee two of the WRC. It was because of this resolution taking shape, taking form, and then we were like, okay, let's, let's, let's put our lady there, let's see how she will fare. And well, although I'm waiting to hear the news next week, Monday, but I'm very confident that uh, this just adopted resolution will, you know, to a large extent, um, assist me in getting that role. And finally, what advice would you give to other women, especially the younger generation, who are looking for an opportunity to advance their careers in the radio communication sector? The sky is the limit. I mean, the network of women has, you know, done a lot. I mean, I, I have been mentored by women who have been in the radio communication sector for a very long time. And uh, I'm also here to mentor others to ensure that 
um, they don't go through what we had to go through before all these networks and even the resolutions were, you know, uh, in place. So I would say, ladies, young girls, the sky is not even the limit. The limit is yourself. So you go for it. Wise words. Well, Bessemi, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. And we look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. For having me. Yeah. Thank you. And if you've enjoyed this interview, which I'm sure you must have, then please tune in to our ITU YouTube channel, as well as our SoundCloud or wherever you get your podcasts from. And for further information, please visit www.itu.int. Thank you very much for tuning in. <laughs>